he booed off the red nose Reindeer, reindeer had a very shiny nose <laughs> You guys already know my at home vlogs. I got my, no makeup, glasses, because I'm blind as a bat. In today's at home vlog, I'm basically just gonna be doing a lot of organizing, setting myself up for success for the week to come. Because the new year is coming up, I decided to do like a mini closet clean out. So I will be selling a bunch of my items on the Depop shop for a great price. Everything that I have for you guys is discounted. Depop is my go to place to sell items from my closet and find new cute items too. Thank you so much to Depop for partnering with me on this video and if you do follow me on instagram you know i've had depop for like four years because it only makes sense to resell my clothing in an effort to be sustainable all the items that i do sell to you guys are gently used either worn once or twice and sometimes not even at all just for example like this was my birthday dress that i wore in cabo i only wore it one time literally only for like two hours if you guys are interested in shopping my closet you can find me on the depop app at Angui Tacho. If I must say, pat my back, I have a five star rating on there because I have the best customer service ever. Like, I run that shop like it's my business. I ship everything out within like two to three days. So I'm really excited to get my shop back up and running. I had like a little pause because I was moving. By the time you guys are seeing this video, it is up and running. So make sure you guys go check it out. When I'm at home, I will just run a show constantly, no matter what I'm doing, like always in the background. So that is how I get through like seasons of shows so fast. Like, I can literally do a whole season in a day so right now the current show that i'm binging is survivor and i'm on season 25 i actually like reality tv a lot like these people are so funny but i did want to talk to you guys about my new couch that i just got because i got a lot of questions it's on my instagram this is my new couch you guys saw me fluffing it up earlier so this is the value feathers couch and i'm absolutely in love with the color i will say the thing about this couch is it does sit really low here's my living room wall and there's the couch but michael sits on here and he's tall and he doesn't find anything wrong with it obviously i'm short i find nothing wrong with it um so i just added some white throw pillows and a white throw blanket it. I'm not sure if, um, well this is definitely not staying here. I ordered like the Hermes throw, obviously the fake one. My rug is from Home Goods, and then I need a coffee table. If you want like the typical like cute ones, they're basically all out of stock till, till next year. March, April, and I'm like I cannot wait that long so I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do for a coffee table. I just have a lot of marble and gold going on already. It'll look nice but like I don't want gold legs because I feel like I already have that going on with my bar stools and everything. I do feel like this couch is really comfortable. I do like it here. Having a chase is like a really nice place to lay. Like both me and Michael fit on here. So two issues I do have with this couch was shipping. They did delay it frequently like each week. They said they were still getting a product into the warehouse. But basically I was like, can, they, can you guys do in-home delivery for the inconvenience? And when the guy delivered it, my sofa came with no latches on the bottom. But luckily he had another one in the truck so he just switched it out. But imagine I wasn't home and I, like they just left it at the door. I swear in this show they reacted like they have never seen their loved one 
Like you would have thought that this wasn't his son. Like you would have. One thing that I can literally not stop saying is fine boy, no money. Fine boy, no money. But I just had to upload a picture on Instagram real quick for a pretty little scene. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, please go ahead and do so. Working on my feed and working on giving you guys bomb outfit inspo. So right now I think I'm gonna organize my fridge. The top part is the fridge, the bottom is the freezer. Sometimes it's a bit hard to open, don't mind that. This is the current state of my fridge right now. It's not really too messy, it just looks like a normal fridge. But I want it to look like a Pinterest fridge. Fridge right here is pretty normal and I feel like I can achieve this. And there's also like another alternative which is like super, super, super organized bins for your fruit and vegetables I'm gonna try and do the best that I can these are the bins that I got from home goods I feel like I don't buy a crazy amount of products to where I needed like so many bins so I'm gonna try and see what I can do with what I have I hate where TJ Maxx and home goods always place their stickers like it's always in the most inconvenient spot <laughs> overview of the finished product it's not really giving like crazy pinterest vibes just because everything isn't super color coordinated like i don't have a lot of vegetables and stuff in here so over on this side is more so condiments i feel like having a lot of condiments in your fridge makes it look less pretty but i just tried to organize it based on need so uh, this is like the red sauces here is more cooking products these pickles just had to go here oyster sauce soy sauce ginger garlic you know like stuff to put in your dishes white sauce is going on like whipped cream and then mayo and ranch doesn't really go together but basically kind of like toppings wine and then this is non-alcoholic like sparkling wine and this stuff is actually really good i found it at publix love the sparkling white grape so far and my guests love this a lot when i hosted a game night here i just have my sodas that i like to drink i always get sprite and cherry coke and then down here is kind of miscellaneous healthy drinks right here and then and my chip sauces and then this is like kind of dairy and then my breakfast shake so this is kind of the part of the fridge that I wanted to keep the most clean I already had this thing for my eggs this was from home goods you can always find these over there I have my strawberries I highly recommend putting your strawberries in a seal tight container container with holes that our strawberries come in make your strawberries go bad faster because air gets to them they mold easily like here I just have apple sauces and this can be pushed back so in case I do need to get another thing eventually, I can put something here. This is just like a dairy one. Like I have butter, sour cream, cream cheese. This is where I always like to keep my cheese and my breakfast meats. This cubby, we have water and then my Capri Suns going straight back. I do not care how old I am. I would drink Capri Sun for the rest of my life. Whatever energy drinks I buy for the week, I'll put here. I feel like that's the benefit of these. Like you're hiding products behind each other so it doesn't look so bulky. Here I have my juices. I have my water filter orange juice cranberry juice and these rose lemonade is so bomb um i have not tried this brand yet but i did put you guys onto this brand in new york because michael bought it for me i picked this up at world market they had a lot of fun things there but apparently you can buy this on amazon as well down here i thought it best to put my meal prep just because like it's kind of hidden and it's lower on this shelf so i meal prep for myself this week i put my hummus here and my pepper sauce and some chili peppers so like basically Basically, like spicy stuff is right here and here we have avocados kale leftover onion 
I need to still figure out a bin to keep my grapes airtight and my carrots airtight, but for now it's just some Ziploc bags and I just put this margarita mix back here just so I don't have it here. Like, yeah, that is my fridge organization. I feel like it looks so much better. Like I said, it's not crazy Pinteresty, but it's my fridge. I'm still proud. Like nobody's literally looking in here but me and when I have guests come over. So I'm about to go ahead and have like a quick dinner. So this is one of my meal preps for the week. And then I'm going to add this this fresh avocado that I just sliced for my drink. I'm gonna have some Malta Goya, I think. I think, did I pick this up at World Market too? They just have some really nice cultural food. I'm gonna go to the gym a little bit later, so I do need to have a little bit of fuel for my body. I don't wanna go to the gym like on an empty stomach. finally finished building the two pieces of furniture I got in the mail the lamp obviously made like a huge mess I'm not exactly mad at it like when you stand far back it does look kind of like this picture on the on the right so this is the lamp that I saw on Pinterest and it's like I think like $700 or so. This was a cheaper version of that. I think I paid like $135, $140, something along those lines. It, it kind of has like a rustic older look. I don't know if I was expecting more of that kind of gold. One thing that did surprise me was the feathers. I don't really know what I was expecting. Like obviously it cannot come like assembled like this, but I didn't think I would be poking the feathers in there, but I don't know. The feathers are really soft. It's just that I can see a little bit these things but I think I just need to like bring down the feathers more. I don't know, you guys be the judge. Okay, this is from a place called Bailey Street Home. I'll link it down below. This office chair is from Wayfair. I'm so happy that I went with this dark forest green color. My other choice was gonna be ivory. I do feel like this chair is comfortable for the most part. I, I do like the way that my body fits in it and I did get a white throw pillow from Home Goods to put in here just to like give myself more back support when I am editing. Right now it does feel really sturdy and nice. I'm sure it will get some wear. I'm just hoping this part doesn't really flatten out. If you are a heavier person, the chair probably will wear faster, but I really do like it. I'm pretty sure this was, no, not $400. I don't think I would've paid $400 for a chair. I, just looking at this green is lovely and I hope I don't get tired of it. What Michael said was, if you wanna be matchy-matchy, get the white one, but if you do want that unique pop of color, um, get the green so I'm going for this green. Let me show you guys where this stuff is supposed to go This right here is my den area You guys can go back and check out my apartment tour if you want to know what my entire space looks like I've just been storing stuff back here the next time I'm showing you guys stuff in my office Um, this will be all cleared out. All right guys So I'm downstairs in my apartment gym I didn't know that we had a stair stepper machine here So I'm probably gonna use that as my warm-up. I wonder if this is part of their decorations for the holiday but that's so cute. Our apartment is bougie, okay? People always ask like what I do for workouts like if I post myself working out on my Instagram story I literally either make my own out of workouts that I've like done in the past or I just pick a workout from you know the workout girls on Instagram or TikTok and there are so many lovely ones. Whatever workout that I pick today I will link it in the description box.
sitting in my brand new chair in the kitchen. I just took a shower and put on my PJs because we are about to put up the Christmas tree. While I'm putting up the Christmas tree, I thought it would be a good idea to like drink hot chocolate. This was actually supposed to be a couple's night with me and Michael putting up the tree when he came for Thanksgiving. This is gonna be my first tree by myself and I lived at my last place, I didn't do a tree. I got this at Publix, it's the Swiss Miss. I feel like this is the like more universal brand of hot chocolate. Why do they call it Swiss Miss? Oh, like the Swiss Mounds? I don't know. But this is Marshmallow Lovers. I love marshmallows in my hot chocolate. And then I also got white chocolate, hot chocolate, which I've never had before. But I don't want my cup to really look like milk today because that's gonna defeat the aesthetic. This is what the glasses look like. I forget how many ounces that I bought, but I liked the way that they looked in the reviews. And I actually do prefer the glasses with like the little thick bottom. This still gives the thin effect. Like it doesn't look like a really bulky glass or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and make my hot chocolate so I can start giving rich auntie vibes and put up this tree. good oh my goodness i was about to take a sip i have to instagram it sorry not sorry i'll just take a picture omg it's hot but it's not like too hot i have been missing out on hot chocolate i haven't had hot chocolate in forever oh if only michael was here i never put on jewelry before bed but i'm just wearing this m obviously for michael my boyfriend's name and i'm wearing it actually because i'm mad at him right now but whenever i am mad at him i know like i'm gonna move past it or whatever or get over it just because like just keep it close to my heart because like i still love him and care about him i'm just mad at him yeah but let's start the tree because i could sit here and ramble for hours so I'm thinking that this will be a good place to put my tree. The only other place I feel like is in that corner. I do have to move this over a little bit anyway. So maybe if I did put the tree there. This is the tree that I purchased. Obviously I bought it because you know I'm I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-N-T. -E -E okay. I feel like a single woman like doing all this stuff by myself. That's the downside of long distance relationships. This is the tree. I bought it from at home and um, my ornaments are from at home as well. And I got it for $50 because it was a Black Friday deal. Because you know I am a fashion influencer or whatever. So Angui Tacho is wearing none other than Forever 21. This two piece pajama set was from the rack in the mall. And my hot chocolate is from Publix and the mug is from Amazon. And you guys can't even see my house shoes right now, but these are from Ego Official. Um, not they want me to build it. I mean, what? I just thought that because this is, um, it has lights and stuff that it was kind of like already like, like I won't have to do too much, but I'm unsure now. This is this is already not going according to plan. I know I should have done this with Michael. All right, maybe, maybe it's not that bad. I see only there's three sections, so it can't be that bad, but these three sections don't even look like they add up to be a tree. Hey Siri, play some Christmas music. Reindeer, reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, yeah, yeah, you, you would always see it, it glow.
this is what it looks like with the lights on it's actually really helpful getting a tree that already has built-in lights because they're kind of sprinkled where they need to be this is kind of what the tree looks like up close i really do like the frosted touch it is a little bit messy like this is how much got on the floor this is what it looks like compared to the rest of my apartment i have silver glitter um white frosted ornaments and they actually will turn out amazingly once i finish putting all of them like i have like a bunch i decided that i'm gonna wait till michael gets here i think he's coming in like 10 days on the 16th just because like i was listening to this song and it just made me so sad that i'm doing this by myself and i have a boyfriend that's why my tree is looking sparse like this and he'll probably help me fix it i might fix the stems before he comes just in case like i have guests and i don't want my tree to be looking like like ew when he's not here like i said before everything is from at home and then i got this star ornament from crate and barrel and i just thought that michael could put this at the top of the tree i feel like it turned out well decently like i was really at a loss for words looking at the three different parts like i didn't think it was going to turn into a tree <laughs> i can already see myself doing tiktoks by the christmas tree cute face set don't put my jeans jump in my back pull out vip we ain't going outside some 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 i'm the wish you ever had arch your back just that <laughs> That's that. Cheers. <laughs> My glass is empty now. Halfway. Y'all would have thought I put alcohol in this. I didn't. I I I really didn't. Thank you so much for tuning into another episode of Vlogmas. <laughs> Psych. But we will have a giveaway, so make sure you guys are subscribed. You guys are, do a lovely job of being engaged. I'm so thankful for you guys. November and December, I really love to give back way more than usual. Like, yeah, right now I'm thinking about having a glass of wine and reading a few chapters in my novel. It is December, girl. Like. We shouldn't even be posting a video without giving away something. What? We just talked about giving away. Let's do a quick Cash App giveaway. Let's not make a Cash App. Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. As long as you can accept the money somehow like that so it could be international too. Just a quick little $100 giveaway in this video. If you made it to the end, you know about it. If you didn't, ooh, I'm sorry. Comment down below who you like, who you'd like to give a gift to this Christmas and why. And then put your Instagram handle and I'll be contacting the winners on instagram thank you so much for watching this video make sure you guys do check out my depop shop you guys can shop my closet at onquitacho but yeah i love you guys so much happy holidays and catch you guys in my next video bye guys